What I'm about to tell you will change the Facebook dropshipping game in the near future. So Facebook is rolling out this new feature that some sellers have access to it. Right now it's in the beta or alpha or one of those like testing phases. I'm not really sure which one is it. And some people have access to it. And I believe that this feature has a huge impact on dropshipping because of what it allows you to do. What's up you guys, my name is Patrick and what I do on this channel I talk about dropshipping and side hassles. As you can see I'm in my beautiful studio slash garage slash gym slash the room. Hey I'm in my garage with my books here. Knowledge. Today I want to talk about this new feature that Facebook is introducing. That feature is called Facebook Shops and I will tell you in a minute why you should be keeping an eye on it especially if you're doing Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, especially if you're doing retail dropshipping, especially if you're doing Shopify dropshipping because all these things are kind of connected together. Hey sorry but I just realized something after filming this whole video i made a mistake so before you kill me in the comments that hey facebook shops has been around for a long time please i made a mistake okay we all humans we all make mistakes i meant facebook shop connected to facebook marketplace is a new thing that's what i meant to talk about in this video anyway so what is Facebook shop? It's basically what the name suggests. It's a shop on Facebook. You know, on Facebook, you can have your personal profile and a business page, right? Anyone can create a business page. It's free as long as you have a Facebook profile. So you can create a Facebook business page. And when you do that, you can establish it as an e-commerce website. And that e-commerce website can sell products. You can have this little store right here that you can see on the screen right now. And on that store, you can sell your or items whatever you have how's that different than facebook marketplace for example well facebook marketplace it's more like a craigslist and right now it's mostly dominated by regular people like normal people like personal accounts that's what i mean by normal people so you know me patrick i go on facebook marketplace with my personal facebook account and i post for sale i don't know a bike now with the facebook shop feature you can list it not as you but as your store so let's say you call your store super crazy bikes what now these bikes will appear on facebook marketplace and on your business page so if i go to the crazy cool bikes on on facebook to see that facebook business page i can go and see all the listing that that business page has and i can just buy it directly from that page moreover i'm just using this fancy words i always wanted to use it moreover this facebook business page can be connected to shopify or other marketplaces so you can connect it with the shopify and your items will show on your business facebook page and shopify as well so you can advertise your your store on you know you can buy like a domain like super crazy cool bikes.com and advertise it regularly on a regular basis on like the internet not just facebook so you see where i'm going with this i'm kind of merging shopify with facebook i'm kind of merging those two things together and what is that merge does what is what is the benefit of that well few things first of all you can create fully automated store meaning right now if you're doing Facebook marketplace there's no way to fully automate it basically you can't fully automate it you can't fully reprice you can't fully track all the items it's all kind of like eh. but if you are using AutoDS which is a software that I talked about before it's basically repricing software for Facebook and eBay but they also have a feature that you can connect it to the Shopify so if you open a Shopify store that is connected to your Facebook store page and that Shopify account is also connected to your AutoDS software this allows a full automation that will automatically reprice the items and let me explain how that works so the first step would be finding an item right so let's say i want to pick this bike that's on walmart then i take this bike and i upload it to auto ds okay i upload the links etc and they do automatically pull up the data then the auto ds sends the data to my shopify store and i have this item on my shopify and then shopify sends the data to facebook store through the 
API connection. That way, whenever there's an update on my supplier website, AutoDS picks this app, sends it information to Shopify, Shopify sends it to Facebook, and basically it is like a whole circle of madness. I know it sounds like it's a lot, but it's not in reality. It's pretty easy once you set it up. So full automation, is one big benefit of this. With that full automation also comes the fact that it's safer to hire a virtual assistant to do this job for it. Think about it. If you wanna hire a virtual assistant right now to do your Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, you need to give that person your access to your personal Facebook account. I am a little bit, I'm not that cool with this fact, you know? I have two Facebook Marketplace accounts right now, my personal and another account that I'm basically borrowing from some person that I know. And I'm not really, I'm not fully okay with sharing my or that other account with a virtual assistant, someone that I don't know. When I do this, I need to consider the fact that it's gonna be logged in from like a different country in like Philippines or something. Facebook tracks the, the, the IP that I've logged in and they will see that I'm logging in from a different country. That might not be looking so good in their eyes and they might flag me or block me or something. But if I can just tell my virtual assistant to upload listing to AutoDS, I don't have to worry about it because it doesn't, it will not show that. She just needs an access to my AutoDS software, not to my Facebook account. So I don't need to worry about the fact that I'm giving my personal Facebook account to someone that I don't fully know. You know, I'm not saying that people always have bad intentions, but you never know. You you never know who you work with unless you actually work with that person. So if you're trying someone out, if you're hiring someone new, you know, sharing your, your messages on Messenger and other stuff like that, nah. That's not for me. Another big thing that I want to mention that I think it, it's it's kind of big. It's the fact that you can brand yourself. You can build a brand. You can build a long-term business with this whole idea. So let's go back to my idea with the bikes. Let's say you want to open a store, a dropshipping store that specializes in selling bikes. Well, now you can do it. You can build a niche store using suppliers. You can have multiple suppliers. You don't have to just have one. And you have this cool name, crazy cool bikes, whatever it was. Now, people will remember it when they buy from you. They'll be like, oh, crazy cool bikes. Yeah, I, I purchased bikes from them. Really cool. So you're building a brand. A brand builds trust. A trust builds re returning clients. Uh, they remember your brand, they remember your name, they go on your social media accounts of your business and, you know, they follow you, they see what's going on. Hey, maybe they have a new kid and this kid needs a bike, so they come back and check if they have a bike. Maybe they bike broke and they need a new tire. Well, they know this store that they just remember they purchased their bike from, so they go on your website and they purchase a tire and you send them that tire to, to them. So you see where I'm going with this? Brand allows you to build a long-term business with returning clients, etc. So you are switching from being just a dropshipper to having a long-term business that builds some emotional attachment with your customers. So you're just not so random dude selling some random stuff on Facebook. You are a brand, you stand for something, you have a message, which I think it's really cool because this can actually establish you as a legitimate business. Another cool thing that I think this whole option has is the fact that you can advertise not just your listings, but you can advertise your business, meaning you can create ads that will promote your business, not just your listing. You don't have to boost items that perform well. You can just boost your whole business. You can create ads that will promote your, your bikes or whatever. You can go ahead, go outside, get one of these bikes and record an ad with you riding this bike and people are gonna be like, wow, this is a cool bike and use this as an ad. I know this is a silly example, but you get the idea. You building a brand, not a random Facebook dropshipping profile. So how you can start this whole process? Well, that's kind of random. Sorry to break it to you, but there's not really a way that you can access this. Facebook is not really telling anyone how do they determine which business page has access to it or not. At this moment, all you can do is basically wait. Instead of waiting, try Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. That's what I do. Well, go ahead and watch all my videos and learn how to do it. That way you'll be ahead of the curve and will learn the customer service, 
how to ship items, how to find suppliers, etc. You know, when you're gonna start this Facebook store, you don't need to limit yourself just to Walmart or Amazon. You can think bigger this time. And I think the Facebook store, the best way to establish this as a long-term business is to actually work with the actual wholesalers. So maybe, if, maybe do this. This is kind of what I'm trying to do, okay? So I'm gonna use my Facebook dropshipping business that I have right now on Marketplace, okay? I'm gonna use it as a, to accumulate funds. And I'm gonna use these funds to establish my new store, the Facebook store, and I'm gonna find a wholesale supplier, okay? And I'm gonna establish long-term business called Crazy Cool Bikes. Hey, don't steal the name, okay? Of course, there's one issue that you have to keep in mind when you are gonna start doing this margins, especially if you are a retail dropshipper, you're gonna need to be aware of your fees and you're gonna need to make sure that you are making enough money to run ads and cover the cost of your business. But anyway, I think that will be it today. Let me know if you find this useful. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's pretty useful thing to know. Like this video if you like me and if you're a cool person, join our Facebook group and start thinking how you're gonna build your Facebook store. All right, anyway, take care, cześć. Thank you.